Leaked data reveals Uyghur region in China has the world's highest prison rate. Recently, the Associated Press, or AP, acquired more than 10,000 names of M Muslim minority Uyghurs from the Kona Shaher County who were imprisoned due to China's quote-unquote war on terror. The leaked data reveals that nearly 1 in 25 Uyghurs in that county received prison sentences based on quote-unquote terror, ter well, I'm going to use again use a coded word, terrorism related charges, achieving the highest incarceration rate in the world. Kona Shaher is only one of several counties in southern Xinjiang that form the, the, the Uyghur bosom of China, with more than 267,000 Uyghurs. This list exposes how China depends on the quote-unquote war on terror ruse to keep more than a million Uyghurs suppressed in long-term imprisonment or internment camps. By interviewing eight Uyghurs who re recognized 194 of those named, the Associated Press verified the authenticity of the evidence. The list revealed that the prison terms handed out to those convicted were between two to 25 years with an average of a nine-year sentence. Some charges even include vague offenses like, quote unquote, picking quarrels and provoking trouble. The spokesperson, the spokesman for Xinjiang, uh, Eli, Eli John Anayat, denied these statistics and stated, we would never specifically target specific regions, ethnic groups, or religions, much less the Uyghurs. Um, so I wanted to talk about this news because it's actually been a while since we've talked about anything regarding the Uyghur Muslim genocide in um, China. And this was a huge um, investigative journalistic piece that came out on the Associated Press recently. So I thought it was important that we cover it. I can't believe there are still tankies who deny all of this, by the way. The mm -hmm. evidence, the evidence is so overwhelming, but I, I still, I still run into people who are like, no, this is all fake, fake news, fake news, nothing to see here. Anyways. What do you know. think if, <laughs> like, it drives me crazy because think about like the Japanese internment of Japanese Americans that happened during World War II. If that was ongoing within their own country, because so many tankies are American, like would they deny that too? No. If it was yeah. politically convenient for them, yeah. it, it drives me crazy. Um. Yeah. So I want to wait. There was one part. So one thing that I think is important to talk about is how a lot of these charges. Because they say, oh, well, these are all, you know, terrorism related charges. But they have expanded the definition to terrorism it's so broadly, it's ridiculous. So things like um, gathering the public to disturb social order or picking quarrels and provoking trouble. People get sent to prison for this. Um, there was also, wait, I want, let me look up this one quick piece of... Um, so, a hand, this is from the Associated Press. The handful which have uh, the handful which have leaked show that the people are being charged with "quote unquote" terrorism for acts such as warning colleagues against watching adult content and swearing or praying in prison. They're charged Wait, with they're charged with terrorism for warning their colleagues against watching PORN. Adult Why? Content and swearing or praying while in prison. Wait. This is this is how broad the definition is against these Uyghurs. Wait, wait, I thought the CCP would be all for telling people not to watch POR and I don't wait, can you explain to me? Why I mean, maybe, that... theoretically, maybe, but if it's from an Islamic justification, then no. Oh, wow. So you, you okay, so CCP is like you you can, you don't get to be conservative. Only we get to be conservative. <laughs> you no. Can't, you're like, <laughs> what? Oh my. Okay. I don't understand. Like they they should get along over this. I thought like they like, hey, we're also conservative. 
we also are anti-pure and but no okay sure wow like not only like we don't agree we don't accept it when it comes from you in fact we're going to charge you from <laughs> for being a ter- um again terrius for people who don't know we say that because you to be sensitive about the actual word for some reason um weird there's another one in the most egregious c- cases camp detainees were forced to confess their crimes in group sham trials and transferred to prisons with no independent lawyers to defend them um they're also uh over the past eight years experts say chinese authorities have expanded the definition of extremism to include displays of religion such as growing a long beard or wearing the veil so simply having a long beard or wearing the hijab is classified as extremism by the government. Some charges for prisoners on the list are new and specific to Xinjiang, such as, quote unquote, preparing to carry out terrorism, a charge that was newly defined in 2016. The sheer amount of the convictions was extraordinary. Um, And what's really sad is that, so this this list was leaked, Um, apparently, through a number of means and one of which was that there was someone who was ethnically Han that opposes the government who was involved in getting this out and getting it to um, a Uyghur dissident who then handed it to the press. And then they worked with other Uyghurs that they had as sources to go over this list and help authenticate some of it. And what's so Mm. sad is that some of the people who were either academics who had worked on as sources or maybe other dissidents or people who had escaped China, they, when going over this list, they actually discovered what happened to their family members for the first time. Oh my God. There was an academic who was like, I've been covering this for years. I've been raising awareness about this for years. And now all of a sudden, this is my story too. They were trying to help uh, unearth what's going on, but while they were going through the data, the leaked information to make sure that they verify it and it's true, they came across their own family. Mm-hmm. Wow, what a way to find that! What a way yeah, to find that! It's about. horrific. Hmm. By the way, are there, are there any? Um, Islamic country because Turkey used to be the only country that I knew of that was speaking against this, but they have backtracked recently, right? Mm-hmm. They're not doing that anymore as much. Is there any Islamic country left that is that its politicians are calling this out to country? Not that I'm aware of. I know of like individual Dawa guys who are involved in this, but as an Islamic nation. Yeah, Off the like top I of know, my head, yeah, I, I know, I know there are, mo- I know there are Muslims who bring attention to this. Okay, um, doesn't okay, but um, relatively to other things. Okay, never. I don't want to. I don't want to say that. But are there any governments, any from any Islamic countries that are bringing attention to this or condemning it? A, a single one is there. The strongest allies are all <laughs> the, from the demonic West. Mm. so ironic yeah okay well there you go um oh one thing we want to leave in the uh, read in the live chat gay uh, uh, american American is saying hi unfortunately many chinese believe that this is a necessary evil to combat terrorism what do you think about that armin I, i can't blame them because it's the you know living in china you are live you, you get exposed to i mean i still can i guess i don't know i don't want to i just don't want to blame that many people at the same time because they're exposed to some level of brainwashing that the rest of us are not even familiar with like True. the bubble yeah yeah okay i think um either there's a predominant sense of people just denying that it happens they're like they, that doesn't that doesn't even happen or people think that they deserve it or people think that it's a necessary evil but then i've also been hearing reports that since the crackdown particularly in shanghai was so severe 
people were starting to think, actually, maybe our government is more capable of this than I previously was willing to believe. Mm. Like the severity of how the, 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 oh, I can't say the word, the, the, the beer bug zero policy, you know, mm. and how that's been mishandled and how authoritarian it was. People are starting to maybe think like, actually, there is, I'm starting to like actually give more credence to these claims about what's happening in Xinjiang. So that's Wait. maybe a positive thing. Um, well, I don't. Who's saying? Who's saying? Who's saying? Who's saying? Wait, 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 wait no, but they genuinely think like that's a major crime against Muslims. So putting like drawing Muhammad and having Muslims um, sensibilities be hurt because somebody drew a Muhammad somewhere that you don't you didn't have to see. It's like they see that as a much, much, much greater crime against the Muslim, the Ummah, the Muslim community than literally putting m m at least a million Muslims in concentration camps. Look at your priorities. Look at your priorities. By the way, Muslim people, this channel, Atheist Republic, cares cares more about your rights, okay, and you not being abused and oppressed than any other Islamic go government ever anywhere. They are more. They they pretend that they are in you know Turkey, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan. They're like protecting you from cartoons okay we here are protecting you from discrimination from oppression for uh, from misbehavior from like abuse from abuse okay which one which one would you rather be defended against cartoons you could just not look at them okay well, but when the government Muslims is after you Many yeah. Muslims would proudly say that they would rather defend the honor of the prophet than themselves. Yeah. And their lives. And they yeah. think that's a good thing. Yeah. Because that's the depth of what this ideology can make of your priorities. Okay. But again, hashtag not all Muslims. There are yeah. some Muslims who are actually raising awareness about what's happening in China. So thank you for mm -hmm. that. So. And we will be allies with anyone doing that. Gaijin American is saying, my dad actually used the word brainwashing as a positive term. To wash my to wash my brain needed to be washed of my queerness in Western degeneracy. Mm, wow. That's oh really unfortunate. A lot of people wow. don't know that the term brainwashing actually comes from Chinese. The term brainwashing comes from what the the regimented system of indoctrination that the chinese communist party began in the early 20th century all right can we clap for the next news oh one more thing i know that this wasn't a very fun news but it is important for us to talk about and this is more credence more information that you now have that you are now armed with to inform other people about this especially those who try to deny the reality or gravity of this um mm -hmm. and it's been a while since we talked about it so i wanted to make sure that we highlight this again because this is still ongoing and it still deserves attention thank you for that suzy atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Abhabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.